I'm Jessica Morris, and I'm happy to be presenting at the Global Health Students and Young Professional Summit in 2020. I'm going to give an overview of my research conducted during my Master's of Global Health at McMaster University with my supervisor, Dr. Claire Liddy at the Breuer Research Institute in Ottawa. I looked at the implementation factors of the e-consult service in Northern Ontario. Ontario is the most populated province in Canada with 38% of the population, but it is not spread equally across the province. 94% of residents live in the southern part of Ontario. The remaining 6% of the population lives in the north, where there are proportionally more people who live in rural, remote communities. Additionally, there is a large proportion of Indigenous and French-speaking populations who live in these northern regions. They face inequi inequities relative to southern Ontario in accessing primary care and specialists. Some families must travel hundreds of kilometres to receive specialized care that they need. An example of this was highlighted in an article by the CBC. Chase and his dad, Jason, live in Wapakeka, Ontario. Having a specialist appointment requires a flight to Thunder Bay, potentially an overnight stay at, a, at significant financial cost, and also days missed from work for Jason. Accessing primary care and specialists is difficult for residents of Northern Ontario. A web-based referral platform developed by family physician Claire Liddy and endocrinologist Aaron Keeley in the Champlain, Ottawa Health Region was created to combat wait times, increase efficiency of clinics, and work around scheduling difficulties of booking consultations. They received a grant to scale this service up across Ontario. I was fascinated by the potential impacts of this innovation on improving the chain of care for patients in Northern Ontario, so I partnered with Claire Liddy and addressed the following questions. How does the current chain of care in Northern Ontario impact patient outcomes of timely access to care and continuity of care? And then for the second one, provided recommendations for how eConsult could address these barriers. To structure my investigation, I used a framework created by Chevdoir et al. It takes patient, provider, organizational, and structural levels into consideration when implementing innovations. I conducted an environmental scan using a wide range of sources, including literature, gray literature, and Government of Canada resources. I presented the results of my scan through two different case studies. The first, an Indigenous patient in the Northwestern Lynn, and the second, a French-speaking patient in the Northeastern Lynn. I then created recommendations for implementing eConsult based on these case studies. A condensed version of results is published in the fifth issue of the Global Health Annual Review, a publication I encourage you to take a look at for many other great articles authored by global health students and young professionals. Thanks for listening to my presentation. Feel free to reach out over LinkedIn or email to get in touch. I'd like to say thank you to the organizers for resiliently putting this conference together despite all that 2020 has been. I hope that you all stay healthy and stay well.